In this video, I'm going to talk to you about where I found my virtual assistant and how I actually went about hiring them. Uh, so we got Stella here wanting to hang out. Let's say hi. And basically, before we get started, I always run through what my revenue for the day so far has been. Um, and it is about 4.15 p.m. here. And we are at $5,473 in sales today, uh, which is ab absolutely amazing. Uh, very, very good day so far. Um, a lot of stuff must be going active. Uh, doing great. Coming straight into Q4, Black Friday is soon. Uh, definitely. It's honestly more about your inventory quality than um, and like what items you actually have uh, than the time of year. But uh, Q4 is uh, coming to the busiest time so far. Um, but if you're wanting to take advantage of that and have better systems in place and have someone to help you, hiring a VA could be a really good thing for you. So some people have asked, where did I hire my virtual assistant? Um, and my cat is just like flopping on the ground and super playful, which is funny. Um, but I hired my virtual assistants, I think I hired all of them on onlinejobs.ph. Uh, so it's basically this site. And so basically, um, this is probably one of the best places to hire a virtual assistant. It's specifically a Philippines uh, website. Um, and the reason why the Philippines is a good place is because um, just a lot of people are looking for remote work there. And oh my gosh, Stella is so playful. Just look at her like rolling around. Um, yeah, so basically uh, it's a good place because they also speak really good English uh, for the most part. It's just um, a pretty big norm that most people speak at least pretty good English in the Philippines, uh, which is helpful when you're trying to like actually be an employer, you know? Um, so yeah, I basically posted a job on there. You're gonna have to pay for one month of a subscription. I think it's $70 a month um, in order to actually talk to your candidates, uh, which you'll need to do um, and to actually hire them. Basically, you'll make a job post. Um, I might as well just show you well, I'll have to log in. Let's see, cool. We can just log in super easy. <coughs> uh, posted a couple jobs here. Let's see if I could, it would be cool to just show you guys the job post. Um, yeah, so this is the first one that I posted for my oldest uh, virtual assistant on the team. Um, basically, kind of, it's just a general like job post. It's, it's nothing crazy. Um, but I mean, this is what I did, um, specifically like asking people and telling them what their role is going to include, um, the stuff that I want them to have experience in. Um, you can go the route of, do you want someone who's super experienced already? And you're just going to have to break some old habits and help them figure out how you do things. Or you do, do you want someone who's like relatively new to the game, uh, but you can kind of teach them from scratch and probably pay less as well. Um, the thing is, is you're already not paying too much because an average salary in this type of position is probably anywhere between 350 and 500 at this point, maybe more like five, 350 to 550. Uh, it depends, uh, and that's per week. Wait, no, that's per month. Yep, so that's per month. Um, Yep, so that's how much you'd pay, and the good thing about that is that the cost of living is much lower in the Philippines, and so that's actually like a like a pretty good salary to make some money in the Philippines and do that completely remote and from home. Uh, like some of these people are stay-at-home moms. Um, like that's super helpful to be able to work from home and still make a good uh, livable wage. Um, I listed out some of the things um, that they uh, would have if they work with me. And then I asked some questions that are kind of qualifier questions. Um, I, I threw in the what's the favorite animal question um, to make sure that they actually read this because people will just cut and paste the resume in a, a filler response. Um, and so what you can do um, is like, I want someone who is detail oriented. So if they just don't respond to this question that's kind of like buried in this text 
um, there's a better chance that they're not detail oriented so I just don't consider them anymore um, if they don't answer that question uh, I'm curious if and when that will be a regular part of what they're looking for and applying for jobs but um, I think that still works um, and then once I figured out like the five people after I posted this, um, I, I gave them a sample project. And so basically I don't, I don't still have access to that, but I basically like gave them, I think I gave them like five leads and I, I kind of just made like a sample project of um, kind of a detail oriented type sample project. You can do whatever you want with this. Um, and then I got on a call with two of them to just kind of do a quick interview, see who I vibe with the best. And then I hired on a one month trial period, uh, which I appreciate that um, because it basically makes it so that um, you've hired someone, they're probably gonna get the job, but um, you have a nice easy out if like things just aren't going well and they're not learning or if it seems like they're not working. Um, you have a super easy out after a month. Um, also, with this, at the very beginning, I usually pay them weekly, and I tell them I'm going to pay them weekly uh, for the first month uh, just so that they trust me. Uh, because imagine working for someone for a whole month, and it's this new employer relationship, and then they just don't pay you. <laughs> Because uh, you could do that and like nobody would hold you accountable um, except your own conscience, hopefully. Um, so pay them weekly. I, I think that's a great thing to do. And then I tell them after a month, look, you're not getting paid anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I tell them it's going to be bi-weekly at that point um, so they know exactly what to expect. Um, as you're getting started, you know, you're going to want to be super encouraging and supportive. Also at the same time, letting them know what you need and what their job is. If you have a proven system of what works for you, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to help them learn that system uh, rather than if you're just all over the place and you just don't have any standards for what you're doing, uh, they're gonna get a little bit more confused, you know? So um, if you can balance being encouraging with them, like if you can be encouraging with them a majority of the time and then give small improvement suggestions over time, that's probably a better way to go so that they actually feel like they're doing a good job and their boss is happy with them. Um, because in general, I found culturally that um, like even compared to Americans, they don't have as thick of a skin. Um, like it's just not, that's not a, a good or a bad thing necessarily. It's just like you need to be kind um, and not just be like, no, that lead sucks. Like the brand's on the listing again. Like, why did you do that? Like actually be encouraging and um, say, maybe instead of that, say like, you know, the ROI is really good. That was 63% ROI. And like, it looks like on the Keepa, it's gonna sell extremely quickly. So that was super cool that you were able to find that. Um, and then also I'm seeing that the brand's on the listing. And so because of that, that's a higher IP risk. And so we're gonna avoid that in the future. If you phrase stuff like that, um, it'll it'll be they'll actually learn faster uh, because you're not <laughs> being a jerk with them. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, that's just a very basic rundown of hiring a virtual assistant. Um, remember, it's it's a delegation muscle. You're not going to know what on earth you're doing, and you're probably going to feel like you don't have full time work for them at the start because you might not know how to delegate, um, or you're coming into this from something else and you do know how to delegate. Um, and that's awesome. It's a kind of a meta skill that can go across lots of different things. So if this was helpful, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know that this is something that is helpful for you. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Oh, also we have a free discord down in the description below. I'd love to connect with you guys more there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.